are made to be achieved. What's going on, everybody? Milwaukee Buck coming to you guys from Alpine, California. I'm on I-8 East. Uh, the current time is uh, 9.03 p.m. The current temperature is 43 degrees. And uh, I just started my day. I had to spend uh, tonight or all of today on the side of the road because uh, I guess once again can't stay up I had about four hours to drive but I kept falling asleep on my way back from Jerome's and uh, so I decided since I've seen this little patch of uh, of a side road or whatever you want to call it, a resting patch, I decided to uh, pull over it in and take a little break. But once again, it uh it ended being like maybe two hours sitting there trying to get a little rest so i can keep going so i just spent my 10 hour break there uh, we got about a four hour and 50 minute drive till we get back to uh to glendale um I pretty much slept most of the time. I didn't do much. I mean, what more can you do when you're on the side of the road with no uh, no establishments within a mile or so? But I'm glad to be rolling now. Today's date is December. 12, 2018. Um, once I get back to Glendale, I likely will take a 10 hour break and then uh, come uh, noon or as soon as my 10 hour break is over there because I got to pick up some packages that were received by the leasing office uh, I'll head out to Oakland which is the next run I have a two stop drop in Oakland the second stop is Dixon I've never been there before but right now we're just gonna deal with this and uh, Make our way back to uh, to Phoenix, Glendale, Phoenix. Here we come. As you guys can tell, tell, did I say Dale? Really? As you guys can tell, it's super dark out here. There's no inclement weather, but it's just, it's just the landscape. It's just dark. I was really reluctant to uh, record this because, you know, there's nothing to see. I did grab my other camera. I did charge it up, but I'm gonna try to do test runs and see uh, what the views are like. Kinda have a problem with the stability cause the thing doesn't wanna stay planted on the floor. Another thing I've been dealing with was uh, the cat. 
he got his uh Mufasa got his uh front claws declawed no I did not film it uh then again I should have but anyway I've been tending to him ever since I got him back which was obviously yesterday at like 4 p.m. He's doing all right. I'm still a little nervous about him because uh, he doesn't seem to be in too much pain or anything like that, but I'm just nervous. I don't know. Ironically, I have received some some pet uh, claw materials in the mail just mysteriously now it I got them yesterday it was kind of freaked me out because I'm like what the heck is this I I didn't know what it was but I'm guessing one of you guys out there watching which I do appreciate of course uh, I know I didn't order them from eBay or anywhere else so it was kind of weird when I opened it. I was like, what the heck is this? You know, I'm thinking, you know, things are just falling out of the sky. But I'm guessing one of you guys who, who like my videos or starting to watch the channel, one of you monsters out there, you know, sent me, uh, sent me that. And I, I greatly appreciate it. Definitely, I appreciate it. It just kind of... It just caught me by surprise, so don't don't think I'm not grateful. It just it's my first time getting something that I didn't order. <laughs> it's quite windy out here. Uh, you guys probably can't hear. I that's another part too that I'm not sure about is. Uh, I'm not sure how the audio would pick up if I didn't use a microphone. So I have to, you know, when I'm when I'm doing these things, I'm doing a lot of testing in between times, you know, trying to make things perfect. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. I don't know if I've said that in early in older videos, but yeah, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. So, um, but like I said. Uh, I hope you guys didn't mind me going from cat claw tools to talking about uh you know sound quality in in the in the camera without a the camera sound without a mic right now I'm using a mic of course to talk into the uh into the video but anyway yeah Um, and that uh, that's what happens the first thing that comes to mind it, I kind of verbalize it sometimes there's another guy on the side of the road just probably taking his 10 hour break I seen him go by earlier um but yeah I uh <laughs> I'm sorry guys if if you watch the videos and I kind of uh I guess you could say jump around a little bit. I hope it doesn't annoy a lot of you guys. It just like I was saying a few moments ago, it the first thing that comes to mind or something that I may wanna say that I would hate to forget to say, uh when I think of it 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 comes out so I can stay on topic. It's just that's just how I am when it comes to multiple or different things. Speaking of uh, this run to Jerome's, the second one, obviously. Uh, 
I did buy on my way out. I'm on my way to Jerome's. I uh, I bought two monsters at the Loves in was it Yuma? I'm not exactly sure. But I bought two Monster Energy drinks and I still can not keep myself up. It's the nighttime, man. I'm just noticing that it's it's the nighttime. That's I've been driving for a year and a half, and it's I still can't seem to uh, stay awake during the nighttime for some reason. In the beginning, like when I was at Swift, I was able to, but here I I don't know. I don't know and I'm trying to figure it out still but still <laughs> excuse my language but I'm guessing it's medication and it's just the nighttime I'm fine during the day that's another battle you'll have to deal with if you decide to become a truck driver and I'm actually my next video of some sort I want to uh, talk to those who are thinking about driving trucks and uh, I know a lot of people have done this on YouTube but I, I want to I want to tell y'all just some little nuggets of what I did as it pertains to driving you know, picking a company and stuff like that, that maybe somebody else didn't say or didn't think about or didn't mention on video. But anyway, it's windy out here. Holy crap. It wasn't windy out here uh, two days ago in the first Jerome's run. It, obviously, weather patterns don't stay the same, so whatever. Glad to be driving now. I called the boss and uh, and uh, when she gave me the Oakland run, I thought that I only had 25 hours left on my clock. So I would have, thinking that, I probably would have had to do the 34 hour reset in Oakland or somewhere around there after I did the two drops. And I had to call her back and tell her, hey, well, you know, I, that's hours used. That's not, I have 40 hours actually, so I'll make it up there and make it back without having to do a 34 hour reset. <laughs> it's 11 hours from Phoenix or Glendale to Oakland and then 11 hours back, so. But she did tell me I have Monday, Sunday and Monday off, which I don't know if I'm going to, I'm going to try to make some money during those days, or at least Monday. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to have to cut this one short because uh, obviously I can upload up to uh, 15 minutes, so... 
I'll check in with you guys a little later. Um, thanks for watching. Keep on watching. Please like and subscribe. Please hit that notification bell so you can get all the latest videos that I've uploaded. Please watch previous videos. Please tell me what you think. Um, reach out. And I'll reach out back to you guys. Alright. Take care everyone. Peace.